Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. It's a Storm Track 7 yellow alert day today and tomorrow. We've been tracking the chance for some strong to severe storms in our northern counties this morning. That chance seems to be going down the further we get into the morning, which is good news. But of course, uh, it's going to be, we'll say, dangerously hot and humid for today and tomorrow. We're looking at heat indices for most of the viewing area between the mid 90s to near about 100 degrees. And so you want to stay cool, you want to stay hydrated. But let's talk about the rain and the storms first. Maybe a little bit of rain and some thunderstorm activity skimming across our northern counties late this morning into the early afternoon. Again, the chance for any rain at all seems to be dwindling as we go through the rest of this morning. I think for most of us, it's going to be sunshine for today, which allows the temperatures to climb back into the low to mid 90s, maybe slightly cooler there in the north where there's going to be just a touch more cloud cover for today. Uh, but really looking at clear skies for tonight and should be more sunshine on the way for tomorrow as well as we're going to see the temperatures back into the 90s. Now we also have this pretty strong south wind kind of just blowing at us like a furnace. Gusts of 30 to 35 miles per hour today, tonight, and even tomorrow. And that continues to bring in some warmer air as we're on the warm side of a front. Uh, so the dew points are already in the upper 60s and low 70s. They're going to stay there today and tomorrow, dropping slightly on Wednesday, but then climbing back to the upper 60s by Thursday and Friday. Meanwhile, the heat index, what it feels like on the skin, well, again, mid-90s to near 100 today and tomorrow, dropping a bit on Wednesday because the cold front will be coming through. Temperatures are cooler, but then we see the temperatures going back up for Thursday and Friday. So it's still going to feel pretty warm and humid there by the end of the week. Now it is a, again a storm track 7 yellow alert day. It's going to be windy. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. We're going to have plenty of sunshine out there. Low to mid 90s for high temperatures. The problem is tonight we don't really see any relief from the heat or humidity. It's going to be very humid and temperatures are going to be in about the low to mid 70s, even with clear skies. So that will uh, of course prolong the heat problems that we could see. So you want to be drinking plenty of water have that AC on full blast and uh, just be thinking about the pets, kids, never leave kids in a car for any amount of time. And then tomorrow it's still going to be very hot and humid as well. Temperatures pretty close to what we're going to see today. Actually similar conditions all around. Plenty of sunshine, humid and still very windy with that south wind. Now come Tuesday night, rain and storms will become likely. Some of them could be strong, but as they approach from the west, they should be weakening. So not many concerns there as far as the severe weather is concerned. But there are going to be elevated rain chances basically through the rest of this week into Saturday. And that could give us anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half where you see these blue colors for our southeastern counties up to about three inches in the red there for our northwestern counties. So a lot of rain on the way here for the next week. Temperatures will be cooling on down on Wednesday as the chance for rain will get up to 80 percent upper 70s to mid 80s there for high temperatures. We'll warm a little bit into Thursday and Friday, and you can see how the chance for rain remains elevated there all the way into Saturday. Even after that, it looks like high temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s, so it looks like summer is here to stay.